G'day, welcome, and look at this little marvel here, a red triangle slug. What makes this so amazing? Because he is out during the day, and not just him. We've crossed a paths of a few of these little guys. Now, normally they're a rainforest slug, and they are, because that's where we are, just in the rainforests here of the outer and upper Blue Mountains. But what's more, they're also nocturnal, not diurnal, which means during the daytime. Nocturnal means night. So, yes, we're truly blessed to witness this little guy here in such open area. Hmm. There's a another fungus. There's another another cute one there. So this is another red triangle slug and they've been everywhere. So they got red around the edges, right around, and a triangle on the top. So that's why they call them red triangle slug. And they're absolutely everywhere. Down here, we're at Falcon Bridge, and we've seen about 15 so far in the daytime, which they're out, usually out at night because it's been so wet and dark from the clouds that they're out here in the day. So in the red triangle, there is a breathing pore. And the red triangle slug only has two tentacles. G'day folks, Bruce here. Uh, myself and... Matthew are out here at Falcon Bridge and look what we found down here. You'll see a lot of these rocks from time to time and they look like, oh, they got little holes, like little wormholes that you see on the beach or on the sides of various types of um, estuaries or even rivers. Now, that's because they are. These are actual little wormholes or little critters that lived millions of years ago. And this used to be on the side of a riverbank, or just underneath the shallowest of waters, as you notice from today. And of course, like then, and now, you had little animals that lived in the sand. And this is what they leave behind. They're, trace, they're called trace fossils. And what they are is, as they say, they're traces of animal life that have lived there. Unfortunately, the animals aren't there, but you can see where they were. How about that? A little bit of history right here in the mountains. There's a big landslide. So that's come from over there. And the landslide is here. So we've had a lot of rain. G'day folks. Well, I'm here at Falcon Bridge and a bit disappointing because Back in 2010, I was down here with some people from Sydney University and discovered a set of footprints from unknown animals. They looked a little bit like wombat and some maybe proto-kangaroo footprints. But unfortunately, right, when having a look, it's obviously the spot where we're at is where the footprints were in the sandstone. The sad thing now is a landslide, a rock slide actually, caused by from what it looks like this Angothra tree up the top there, which my friend will zoom around and show you, um, caused. And it's quite significant. So unfortunately, I can't re really um, refilm them or recover them. So that's where that story ends. Sorry to tell you. And take it away, Bluey. Show them a bit of what's happened. 
and this is part of the route. And it was about to happen because they put a sign here a long time ago. There's the uh, the overhang that fell. Maybe that bit down there where it used to be, if you're able to. Yeah, and it just fell off, fell off that part of the overhang. And as you can see, it's a significant size boulder too. So that's what's happening in the Blue Mountains with all this rain. In fact, we're not going any further for safety's sake, for that very reason. So, there you have it. We so we're on our way back. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're on our way back, and um, at least we got some good pictures of a bit of scenery. And what's more, we've got some great pictures of a triangle slug, something which we don't usually see out and about during the day. And, of course, here in a rainforest. How about that? So, we come away with something of a booby prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, it says, warning. Unstable edge, falling rocks, and falling rocks. So here is another triangle slug. Very beautiful coloured slug. And these things here eat rotting matter and help the breakdown of the forest. And that's why you don't usually see them in country gardens. Mm. Oh, that's a good photo of it. Gee, you got a nice close up. Have we got a find here? Most of you will think, nah, it's just nothing, but it's not. Because over here, we've got some very special mosses and various microplant matter. Why is that amazing? Because 400 million years ago, land wasn't like this with all the rainforest. Land was like this. All tiny little microbes and various small plant matter. How is that, eh? Instead of finding big valleys of trees, you're finding huge areas full of moss. Some big, huge clumps, some stuff like this. Absolutely amazing in itself. Feels good, eh? Yes, this, this one's quite unusual. I haven't seen this one before. It's not a club moss, obviously, but it is an amazing thing altogether. But this is how our world first started on land. All these things. How about that? So this is a fungus on a turpentine. So there's a turpentine. Quite old. There's a bit of a buttress. And there's this beautiful fungus. Looks like it's weeping. And they break down all different types of wood. So they, they're another one that breaks down the forest and their yeah, recycles. There's another slug. One of the many we've seen today. And a sprinkling a bit. Yeah. Roof. This is really something. This tree, my friend Bluey was just talking about. It's a turpentine tree. Now, the thing is, these trees are very rare now. Because the early settlers, the early settlers went out along with more modern times, 
went out and absolutely massacred these trees because their ability to withstand salt water. Uh, a lot of them now you see there there um, exists in the harbour as uh, pylons for our wharfs. But yes, so uh, whenever you see a tree like this, a turpentine tree, you can be sure you've seen a bit of marvellous history. Something that I hope we see more of as time goes on. We are here somewhere outside of Falkham Bridge Township and looking at some beautiful rainforest area. And look what we found here. Have a look at this little beauty. A triangle slug. And oh man, what makes this so amazing? Usually they only come out at night. And of course, the other thing is they inhabit rainforest, which not a lot of people live in. Actually, they don't live in at all. And you can see by the size of my hand how big this fellow is. That four fingers across. What's more, these little guys, along with fungi, are a main part of why we've got such a rich and vibrant ecosystem out here. They break down all plant and various other types of biological matter and create, well, soil is really what the best way to put it. So these little creatures, while they might look insignificant to a lot of people, and some people go, yuck, are very important because these creatures are the reason why we have this uh, beautiful rainforest all around us today. So before you squash one, remember, look after your wildlife because your wildlife needs to look after you. <laughs>